Okay, um, as soon as you're done uh, going through those screens we just went through, um, you're actually going to see the um, uh, Mac OS X come up. Uh, this should be the screen you should see. And then from here what we're going to do is we're going to download MultiBeast and we're also going to download uh, 10.6.3. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download those and we're going to get started. Uh, the links are down below, um, so definitely at this point is now when you want to start downloading uh, those files. You actually should have be connected to the internet here. Um, I am. My networking is um, actually working. Let's just check it out real quick. Start up Safari and see what happens. Yeah, see I'm connected to the internet now. Um, sounds working. So far the system's working, but it is only working under iBoot. Um, so let me go ahead now and download that uh, software. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm going to uh, scroll down. This is the uh, the Tony Mac X86 uh, .blogspot site I told you about. Um, you should have checked this out already. Um, here's your uh, BIOS settings that you're going to go through and make. Um, obviously, you've seen this if you got to this point. Um, here's all the instructions, and just keep scrolling down until you see uh, Mac OS X uh, 10.6.3 combo update and MultiBeast. You want to download both of these. So let's go ahead and start downloading these, and I'll be right back as soon as we have them. Okay, so we're back. Um, I just downloaded the um, the Mac OS X 10.6.3 uh, combo update, and I've also downloaded the MultiBeast um, software. You can see them both right here on the desktop. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and close this browser, and we're going to start the um, update. So basically, um, just click on the the Mac um, OS update and uh, let it go through. It'll verify. You can skip that if you want. Probably a good idea to let it verify to make sure there's not a checksum error. And then let it install. Okay, so let's go ahead and install our update now. Uh, we've not done anything with MultiBeast, and to this point the only thing we've done is um, we've installed the original Snow Leopard DVD. And then we reboot it with iBoot, just for a quick refresher. Okay, so here we are. We're going to run through the screens here. You're going to agree. Um, it's going to take up 1.4 gig of space. Click install. Put your password in. Continue installation. And this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, I'll go ahead and stop the camera. Um, you can pause the video at this point and then continue with your uh, with your installation. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, this is the uh, screen you should see when the update is finished. It's going to ask you to restart. Do not restart. Just leave this screen sit here in the background, okay? Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to uh, start MultiBeast. When you start it, you should see uh, version uh, 1.0.2 or newer. Um, this just came out, um, I believe, last night. So if you have an older version than this, uh, you need to go download the newest version. Um, just click continue. You should see a list of instructions. Right now we're at step five. We just ran the update. Um, this is very important. Don't reboot. We've already covered that. And then step six, run MultiBeast, which we're going to do right now. So click continue. You'll see the drive where it's going to make the changes. Um, click continue again. Um, I've got a gigabyte board, so I'm going to select GigaBeast. And I'm going to scroll down and select my board. I've got a gigabyte GAP55A uh, UD4P board. Select that. And then you also want to select Disk Utilities. Disk Utilities is going to rebuild the caches and also repair the permissions. Um, once you've selected those, uh, go ahead and click Continue. Um, it'll tell you how much space it's going to take up on your computer and click Install. Um, enter your password. And this takes just a little bit of time. Um, when this is finished, I'll come back and we'll go over the next step. See you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. The uh, installation has uh, just finished. Um, we're going to click Close. And at this point, we're going to eject the, um, the iBoot disk. And then we're going to reset the system. And it should restart all on its own. Let's see what happens here. Okay, back. The system did uh, successfully boot up on its own. Uh, Snow Leopard, uh, for the first time, booted on our PC um, without the use of um, iBoot. 
Um, well, from here, we're going to go back into Multi Beast, and the first thing I'm going to do is let's get our video card working correctly. Um, we're going to select Disk Utilities again because that has to be run again. And then we're going to go down here to Advanced Options under Text and select uh, Graphics. Now I'm running an NVIDIA um, card. So I'm going to select this and then click Continue and Install. And once again, I will be right back. Okay, just uh, finished um, changing the uh, video. Um, let's go ahead and go to System Preferences. And we should now be able to go to uh, 1920 by 1200 with no problem at all. And there it is. Okay, let's uh, go back to Multi Beast now and get our audio set up. Um, there's a little confusion on setting up the audio, so we're going to try this. Hopefully, this works the first time. Uh, back to Advanced Options, Text. Um, audio, and I believe I'm going to be using the uh, Legacy um, HDA, the um, ALC889. Let's just try that by itself first and see what happens. We can go back and make a change. And then Disk Utilities, click Continue, and I'll be right back. Let's see if it works. Okay, let's try to get our audio working. Um, go back into Multi Beast. Now the first uh, setting I tried with the audio did not work. So let's go back to Advanced Options, Text, um, Audio. And for this board, um, this worked last time for me, so I think I'm going to use it again. It's the uh, HDA uh, enabler. I'm going to select the um, ALC889 because that's what my card is on, on my motherboard. And I'm going to select the um, Apple HDA 10.6.2. Six point two drivers. I believe that's what was repaired. So let's find out. Okay, be right back. Let's check it. Okay, I'm back. The uh, sound change uh, that we made it worked. We have sound working now. Um, so pretty much, this is a functional system. Um, we have sound, uh, video, networking. Everything's pretty much done. There's a few things I have to still take care of cosmetically. I have to change the way the drive's displayed, and I'm also going to make a change. Uh, to this. If you look at about this Mac, um, my CPU is not listed here correctly. This is really just a cosmetic thing. Um, I can show you real quick how to change this. Um, come back in here to Multi Beast, click Continue. There's the drive I was telling you about. I'll make this change here in a few minutes. Um, go to Advanced Options. You see Symbios. Select that. Whoops, we don't want all of them. Select that. I'm going to select the um, iMac 11 1. And I'm going to select the Core i7. Um, once you select that, again, select Disk Utilities. And there's some other really cool stuff in here, so have a look through this entire list. And then uh, click Continue, and then Install. And next time that boots up, that'll be correct. And I'm also going to go ahead and put in my extra 4 gigs of memory now as well um, before I restart the system. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, at least learned how to do it using um, um, iBoot and MultiBeast. Uh, definitely have a look at the website. Um, you're going to find that, that software really saves you a ton of time. And I would really recommend uh, spend a few seconds and send um, the, the uh, developer Tony a donation. I send him a donation. Um, it's really what keeps these kind of communities alive and going. Um, but if you enjoyed it, at least visit the forum and join and participate. And, uh, and if you're a developer, um, definitely take a look at uh, um, the website. There's a lot of great information there um, as far as uh, what guys are developing for the system. All right. Take care, guys.